Hi everyone, welcome back to the North End. My name is Azaz and I'm here to do the good, the bad and the ugly for Southampton 4, Liverpool 4. Um, who thought I would ever say that? Now before I get into these points, um, I just want to say please, you know what to do, like and subscribe because even though it's the summer, even though it's close season, we're going to be bringing some fun content for you and you know that liking helps us um make even more you know the deal by now anyway let's get into it so the good um i'm very happy with what i would say in the last two three months is liverpool seem to be able to score at free will um lots of goals have been going in in the last couple of weeks um mo salah went dry right at the end but another great season for him considering he hit the 30 goal mark um and banged in a bunch of assists as well but particularly two people who have been really really um, impressive for me in the last few weeks are uh, Diego Jota when he has played and Cody Gakpo and it really sets us up for um, a strong start to next season on the goal scoring front you know um, we're still wanting more from Luis Diaz and Darwin Nunes um, Diaz hit the ground on fire but then since his um, injury he's not necessarily come back to that same level Darwin had a decent season as well got about 15 in all comps but we obviously want to see him push on from there as well. So safe in the knowledge that Mo Salah, Diego Jota and Cody Gakpo are going to add goals. We are in a pretty good position. So that's what I would say was a good thing about today's game. On the bad side, um, whenever you're conceding four goals to Southampton, you have to be a defensive shambles. Now, we didn't have our number one in goal, um, Alison Becker, who makes a huge difference. But Kavim Kelleher is a very, very good understudy, and yet he didn't con con he didn't cover himself today with any kind of distinction. And then on top of that, um, there were all the defensive mistakes as well. Um, Joe Gomez and Joe Matip is not going to cut it in 2023, um, and I am very, very happy for the season to be over because hopefully we can do some work on the training ground that stops schoolboy errors individual mistakes and just bad defending overall so um theme of the season our bad has been related to defensively we were awful we were a shambles and um i'm kind of over it and very happy to move on to next season and finally the ugly um this is a double-edged sword for me because i love all the emotion around liverpool i love you know, the victories and the, the celebration and the family feeling the club has and how everyone is able to be on the same page. And yet I have found the extended testimonial um, for some of our players has been a little bit ugly, to be honest with you. There has been business to take care of and we haven't really taken care of the business. It's, um, easy to like, it, it's as simple as that. And um, I think last week against Aston Villa was was strange enough to me that we were still mathematically in the Champions League, and yet um, we were so we we were so distracted, I guess, by the four players leaving, two of which are absolute modern legends, and the other two not so much. Um, and then even today, um, James Milner and Roberto Firmino starting. Now, you know, on one hand, you might be able to say it's justified. Millie had a good game, Firmino scored a goal. But really, if we're talking about Liverpool being back to their best and competing at a, a top level, I don't really think that we should be seeing these two who are leaving the club in the starting 11 if we really want to go for the points. Um, anyway, we can automatically put a line under that as well. The four of them are going to leave. The two of the legends are going to leave. They got their multiple send-offs. Um, but I'm over that happening. Um, and sorry, because it has lasted two weeks. And within that, we ended a, a huge run of six or seven wins in a row. Um, unbeaten streak was even longer than that, starting with a 2-2 at Arsenal. Um, I'm going to have to say that that has been ugly to me. I'm... Um, you know the big men the big club mentality we've had over the last couple of years there's little room for sentiment i'm okay with sentiment but it has been a little bit of overkill so i'm going to call it out as being ugly today anyway that's it the good the bad the ugly the final one for liverpool only two cup finals left we unfortunately this season aren't part of any of them um i'll be back next year 
looking to do a director of football show over the summer so that'll be coming soon but otherwise um you can catch me on some of the weekly shows and um thanks for all your time watching liking sharing subscribing <laughs> this has been azaz um take care bye this is the north end